Big news coming in from Karnataka. The KPC legal unit files a complaint with a cyber crime police station after a fake website was created in the name of KPCC and derogatory posts were shared regarding Congress leaders. After a complaint, an FIR has been registered at the cyber crime police station. The fake KPCC site created and derogatory posts made about the Congress leaders and this Karnataka website faking has now resulted in an FIR. Going across to my colleague Ritu. Ritu, who is suspected to be behind the creation of this fake website and have any leads emerged so far? Well, you see, so far an FIR has been registered with the Cybercrime Police Station regarding the fake website that was being created by few miscreants for that matter. But we really do not know who that person was because you see in the FIR as well, the boxes where it may, uh, where it speaks about the accused is actually empty. So the investigation in this whole matter is on. So we'll have to see to what police is going to do in this whole matter, who exactly that miscreant is also. Uh, and uh, we'll have to wait and watch out for that. But yes, we had seen a couple of days back as well on February 2nd is when there was a fake letter that was actually being circulated on the social media from uh, uh, you know which the letter in fact the fake letter was uh, from the side of the uh, Siddharamaya the letter stated his name there and it was to the Sonia Gandhi where the letter was speaking about the kind of an infighting that was going on over the uh, ticket distribution so right after that fake letter was actually circulated with the name of uh, former chief minister of Karnataka Siddharamaya Siddharamaya tweeted on his Twitter handle and said that it's the fake letter and he hasn't wrote any uh, kind of a letter to Sonia Gandhi uh, regarding the ticket uh, distribution or for that matter regarding the uh, election prospects for that matter. So that was the fake letter that is getting circulated and there again he also attacked the BJP uh, in the state saying that it, it, these are all the kind of work that the BJP government does it because uh, parties are in fact very jealous about uh, uh, the Congress party that is going to win in the upcoming assembly elections. So moreover anything that is taking place in in the Karnataka is actually getting connected to the assembly elections itself. So there is a lot of political drama that we are uh, witnessing ahead of the polls. So Ritu, the official website of KPCC was also hacked and subsequently suspended uh, by the party. Then a spoof website also was created as you are telling us where posts were shared, fake letters were shared. This seems to be a concerted effort on whosoever's part. Well, very true. That's the whole reason. You see, the Congress party has been keen to attack the BJP, saying that uh, this is how uh, the BJP government also does it because they cannot look up to the success of the Congress party, the way they are functioning, the way that the Congress party is also getting the response for the uh, Bharat Jodo Yatra that which went uh, you know, on uh, across the country and also the bus Yatra which is going on in the state as well. So the BJP government in the state is not able to digest the success of the Congress party. Is kind of a malicious uh, you know, uh, act that uh, the party is doing that's the that's been the word from the uh, Sidramaya, uh, Sidramaya himself as well but as said we'll have to wait and see uh, in the investigation what exactly is going to take place thank you very much Ritu for bringing us that piece of breaking news I'm going to slip into a 